Good afternoon YouTube and welcome to Derby City 502. This is Aaron here and I'm going to actually show you how to deassemble and reassemble an M1911 for cleaning purposes. Now if you notice this is actually a Rock Island 1911 but this will work with any 1911. So first thing first, make sure the magazine's out. And go ahead and check the chamber and make sure there's nothing in there. You can see daylight so it's all clear. Go ahead and leave the hammer back for this, but the first thing you're going to actually do is sit it right down on its back, and there's a little spring assisted buffer here. You're going to push that down and turn this bushing. Let that go real slowly, all right, or else it's going to shoot across the room. And set that aside. Uh, the next thing you're actually going to do is push the slide back, and this is why you wanted the hammer down. There's a little notch there. I don't know if you can actually see it in this video, but there's your first one there that'll actually hold the slide back, and then there's a small little indention there. We'll push that back until it's directly over top of your uh, your hold there. Now go to the other side once that's there, and there's a little spot right here. You can actually push that in, and that side should pop right forward. Now go ahead and pull that out. And set that aside. Make sure you don't lose any of these small spots or small parts. Anyways, once that's done, you're gonna be able to just slide this right off. I'm gonna slide the receiver straight out and set that aside. Now for the next part, you're gonna go ahead and take this uh, spring in your guide post out and set that aside also. Now to get the barrel out of the gun itself, you're actually going to take this buffer or this bushing here, turn it to the other side, and usually there's a little notch. I don't know if you can see that down in there or not, but there's a little notch. Now once you get that forward, you're going to pull this piece right out. Set that aside and make sure you don't lose that. It's another small spot, small part. Now go ahead and slide your whole barrel in and out. Now, if it's getting caught, that's just because it's sitting right down in there where it's supposed to go. So just make sure you pop it out of there, and you can slide the barrel straight out. Now, a lot of the spots you're going to want to clean are like down in this lower receiver. This area gets a lot of carbon buildup, especially right in through here. Go ahead and clean out this area in the slide right on your guide rails here also. All right, in the slide on your guide rails right back here where the firing pin is. A lot of these parts are very prone to getting carbon buildup. Then of course, if you've ever cleaned a gun, you know to go in through the barrel, clean out everything that's in there. And other than that, I'm actually going to clean this separate from the video so I don't make this video too long. So I'll be right back once it's cleaned. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now that I have this all cleaned up, I'm actually going to go ahead and reassemble it. Now the first step you're going to actually do is go ahead and pick up the slide. And don't drop it or anything like that, like I just did. Just scratch it up. Anyways, pick it up and you're going to go ahead and take your barrel and slide it right back into the end. Now when you slide it through, you're going to want to make sure this little O here stays forward. If it goes back, you're not going to be able to get your, uh, your catch here back in. So slide that forward, make sure it stays up there. Now to go ahead and keep the barrel in, you're going to go and put this, uh, it's like a little, uh, I guess I'll call it a barrel bushing. Now you're going to slide that back in there, and there's a little notch, of course. Pop it in there, and turn it all the way to the other side. Once you have that turned and completely out of the way, you're going to actually take your spring and your guide post and slide it right back in from the back. Now if you notice the bottom of this actually has like a small crescent to it, that's going to conform to your barrel. So go ahead and put that right back down in there. And let's sit in place. So the next part, you actually want to take your whole slide and put it back onto the lower receiver. I usually just take it from the front here and slide it right back. Now, as I said before about that barrel catch there, that little circle, 
Make sure that's forward. Now I almost just showed you exactly why that mistake is made. And that's one of the most, the only frustrating thing about putting this whole weapon back together. So take it forward and eventually you're going to notice You can go ahead and put the safety up and it'll keep the slide wherever it goes. If you push back, notice how you can see daylight? Now you can't. Well, there's a little, that circle in there is going to actually get, line up right with that hole. So take the safety back off and the next thing you're going to want to do is actually take the slide itself back until that little notch matches right back up with the top of the catch. So once that's back, you can actually take grab the barrel down here and align that right back up all right and then take your catch and you're just gonna drop it right in there now if you have to to actually get it in there just take the barrel kind of move it around until it pops in there next part you're actually gonna take this and turn it so you can get it lined up and all you're gonna do to get that in there is just apply a little bit of pressure All right, and so that's back in there. Slide your slide back forward. Take this end here, put it right back onto the spring. Now this is the tricky part. You have to actually push this part, the spring, all the way back down in there and then turn your bushing until it clicks right back into place. Now make sure the action's all clear, everything's working out, functioning properly, and now you should know how to deassemble and reassemble your 1911. If you liked the video and you want to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe right below, or uh, comment on what else you guys would like to see. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Derby City 502.